Question number four. Isn't it difficult to breed for a liger or tigon? Occasionally there are statements made that it's difficult to have a lion made a tigress to make ligers, or a tiger to made a lioness to make tigons. Some cite that lions and tigers are different physical size. Others assert that because they're two different species, they must somehow be forced to mate with each other. Still others assert that the animals would rather fight than mate. All these statements are untrue. The physical manner in which big cats mate means that a size difference doesn't matter, unlike in dogs where size disparity means they would have trouble mating. There's even a video on, here on YouTube of a tiger mounting a Rottweiler. This clearly demonstrates that a size disparity wouldn't matter. Also, lions and tigers aren't that different in physical size. There are larger and smaller individuals, just like some humans are taller or heavier than other humans, but these size differences aren't as great in lions and tigers as they are in humans. Because of these facts, it is illogical to state that it's difficult to produce ligers or tigons because of the possible size differences in the parent species. Apart from using artificial insemination, in which a semen sample is taken from a male and introduced into a fertile female to impregnate her, there is no way to force a big cat to mate. Artificial insemination is typically done under anesthesia, which itself can be risky for the health of any big cat, and is also rather costly as a result of the expertise involved. The use of artificial insemination to produce ligers and tigons is exceptionally rare, if it's used at all. To my knowledge, it isn't used at all, but I could be wrong. Big cats outweigh the average man by two to three times and are far stronger than any single human could ever be. As a result, it would be illogical to think that any humans could physically force a big cat to do anything. Also, using external items to physically compel a big cat to do anything it otherwise objects to only leads to problems working with the cat down the road, and as such aren't normally used in training or keeping of any big cat. They are sometimes used for show during performances, though. The argument that lions and tigers are wired to fight each other rather than mate each other comes from the natural instinct for defense of territory that exists in all predators. And it's true that if you just toss two random animals together that don't know each other, they will fight. However, this is not always the case, even in nature. Tigers live alone in their own ter territories due to the manner in which their prey species are distributed. One territory of a given size has prey animals enough to support only one adult animal. Tigers' territories actually overlap those of their neighbors. When a female is in heat, male tigers will stray into her territory to court her and hopefully mate her. Lions' territories, even though they contain more animals and are usually larger, overlap in a similar manner, and sometimes males from one pride will mate females from another. More often with lions, though, it's that the females are mated by prideless bachelor males that don't have their own territories and exist roaming in the no-man's land area between the home territories of established prides or even within the prides' territories themselves but not while the pride is actively occupying that part of their territory. The reason these matings occur at all, even though it risks ownership of a territory for the one that strays outside it, is that the drive to mate is often quite greater than the drive to protect their own territory. In captivity, we humans establish the size of an animal's territory by fixing the boundaries of their enclosure, and provide all the food they desire so they have a reduced need to patrol and fight to defend what they consider their territory. This typically puts the drive to reproduce above the drive to defend territory. Animals known to each other, perhaps even the big cat version of friends, would be far more inclined to mate each other than to fight each other if they actually like each other. So all in all, breeding to produce ligers and tigons is no more difficult nor requires more human involvement than breeding to produce lions and tigers.